The EU's future is on a knife edge after a religious expert sensationally claimed that Pope Francis could back a Talexit if the key criteria of Italy becoming richer is met. Clamor for the Italian version of Brexit has been ramped up amid disputes over debts, high financial contributions and the desire to regain sovereignty. Key Italian figures, including Gianluigi Paragon, leader of the Italexit party, have demanded Italy be free from the cage of the European Union and the single currency. This view was echoed by prominent politician Matteo Salvini, who leads Eurosceptic anger toward the bloc, and once declared the euro currency a crime against humanity. Many critics argue that since Italy adopted the euro in 1999, restraints from the bloc have crippled the eurozone's third largest economy. Rates of growth have been minimal, economic expert Larry Elliott argued, which has led to outrage among some towards the EU. Linda Telford, author of Women in the Vatican, Female Power in a Male World, argued that such was the increasing levels of poor people in the country, even Pope Francis himself could accept an italicit vote, as long as it meant the country became richer. Speaking exclusively to Express, Miss Telford said, I think Francis' view on Italy is certainly important, and he is concerned for poor people. And Italy has got poorer since it's been in the EU. I.D. imagine that Francis, who is a very sensible person, just wants to see his people, able to lead a decent life again, have work and just lead a normal life. After the UK voted to leave the EU in 2016, the rise of anti-Brussels sentiment grew in Italy, and Mr. Elliott detailed how the country had become the sick man of Europe after less than 20 years inside the bloc. Writing for The Guardian after the referendum, he explained that any hope Italy had regarding its inclusion into the euro was misplaced. Since the eurozone began in 2002, the growth performance of those inside the bloc as a whole was poor, Mr. Elliott wrote, but Italy's was dismal. He revealed that Italy's economy was smaller in 2016 than it had been in 2008, while 2014's birthrate was the lowest since Italy became a state in 1861. He added, if there was a contest for the unwanted title of the sick man of Europe in the 21st century, Italy would walk it. This rhetoric, and desire to quit the EU, began to grow in the aftermath of Brexit, and is now championed across most parts of the EU.